Hi, welcome back to another Garmin Marine Team webinar. My name is John, and I want to run through building a fusion system around our Apollo AMP. So our Apollo AMPs were recently released, and I want to go ahead and show you a couple of examples of how to easily put together the Apollo AMPs, signature three speakers, and then top it off with our Garmin Marine multifunction displays. As always, if you have any questions, please email us at marine.training at garmin.com and let us know it's the Fusion Apollo Amps webinar. This focus is going to be on Apollo Amps. We do also carry the entry level AM Amps and the Signature Series Amps, but let's take a look at our Apollo Amp lineup. So we're gonna go over kind of why Apollo amps and the stereos and how they uh, match up really uh, great together. The new Apollo amps have some cool features. Uh, the mounting bracket makes it simple and easy to mount. We have power and speaker connections that you can wire in hand and then snap onto your amp. And then a simple, easy uh, DSP setup. So with that, we can maximize the amps and match it up with our speakers in order to get the best sound for your vessel. We're going to go into some signature three speakers. I'll give you a couple of examples that uh, I've put together. These are just examples, just kind of giving you a basis of, you know, how to put and figure uh, some of these systems on a particular vessel and then adding a Garmin GPS map 8600 series. With that, you'll be able to, you know, watch the big game, see a, a movie, play TV, um, you know, as long as you connect an external uh, uh, receiver like a Roku or a Chromecast, you'll be able to see that. You can even connect your phone to the GPS map series and then hear it through your Fusion speakers. I can show you some really neat accessories that we can add to it. And then what's new in the software updates for the Apollo uh, head units. So let's go ahead and get started here. So the Apollo amps, we build them. This is our latest uh, series of amps. They're efficient, easy to install. We have multiple choices from a mono block to multi-channel and zone amplifiers. So with these, you're going to get more power, greater sound and clarity, increased power protection on it, and like I said, ease of installations. And these are designed exclusively for the Fusion uh, Apollo series head units. So the 770, 670, the WB670 hideaway system and our RA210 along with our Fusion speakers. So the key features that you're gonna look at is obviously the impressive power per channel, 150 watt, RMS per channel. And then on our subwoofer with the mono block, we have the 650 watt RMS. Uh, you have ignition protection. So we built in an intelligent electronic fuse to prevent any damage within the unit itself. You got an LED indicator light on it to make sure that the amp is operating um, correctly. Easy tune feature and I'll show you how within let's say 90 seconds or less you can go through once you've connected your Apollo amp to your Apollo head unit and your signature three speakers that you can easily tune that system and then these are made for the marine environment so that's a really big deal you want to make sure that these are going to hold up you know they're powder coated aluminum finish on the outside and the PCB boards are coated for the marine environment and come with a three-year warranty. And like I said, easy installation. We'll show you how you can easily install this. So this is great for the do-it-yourselfer, our installers, and our boat builders to make it easy, efficient, and save you time when you're actually installing these amp speakers and stereo units. Like I said before, any of our fusion products that have the true marine design come with an industry leading three year warranty. So the lineup, we have eight, six, four and two channel amplifiers. 
We also have the monoblock that you can utilize for our subwoofers. Like I said, along with the Apollo and RA210 head units, you're going to use the Fusion Link app. That is an app for both Android and Apple. And you can download that app for free, and then that will connect to your stereo and allow you to customize the sound settings. So like I said before, you wanna make sure once you're putting the system together that you're gonna pair the Apollo amps with an Apollo head unit or that RA210 that you see on the bottom right hand side. So your choices would be really, you know, do you want the 770, which is gonna give you that optically bonded touchscreen color screen, and that's four zone, or do you wanna go with the uh, little bit smaller screen there it's not touchscreen, it's three zone. Um, you can go with the 670, or I know I have some of my, uh, my dealers actually like the Apollo WB670, and that's a hideaway system. So if you wanted nothing on your dash and you want still the same three zone features that are in the RA670, you can get the WB670, hide that away, connect to your Garmin multifunction display, your, you know, your Apollo amp and your signature three speakers and get the best of everything in a hideaway system. We make a one zone Apollo uh, marine zone stereo. And then also, if you're looking for something to save a little bit of money, but you still want the digital signal processing in order to tune the amps themselves, you can go with the RA210. Let's talk a little bit about the mounting bracket. So you can pre-install this mounting bracket, which makes it really easy. We know that when this amp is installed in a boat, it's gonna be in a tight area. It's probably hard to locate that amp and actually mount it itself. So you can mount the bracket first. And then once the mounting bracket is fixed in there, you we have a locking system that allows you to take that amplifier after you've wired it and then lock it into place. And then we have a tab on top that secures it in place. So you're not gonna have any movement in those rough sea conditions. Um, you know, like we said, we know it's hard to mount these amps. So this will number one, speed up the process a little bit and allow quick and easy access to that. You can still mount the amplifier the traditional way, you know, via the four mounting screws if you wanted to do that. connectors. So we're taking a look here at the power speaker RCA and then how we can actually make one of the zones or two of the zones, three of the zones depending on the amplifier into high power mode. So number one we've got the power connector here that can accept from two to four gauge wiring there and then our speaker connections. So we can pre-wire these in hand and then snap them into place on the amplifier itself. So it makes it really simple and easy to use. We'll also talk about the high power mode here in the next couple slides. High power mode. So this allows us to bridge a, um, a zone and get more power out of it. What it also does is allow us a simple, easy one connection RCA out to our stereo unit itself. And then we've got negative and positive for our speaker itself. So when the high power mode adapter is plugged into the amplifier, the magnet here actually triggers the internal wire splitter within the amplifier itself. So you don't need to use a Y splitter and it makes the installation much easier. So this is just an example here. Um, take a look at the, uh, the amplifier itself and how we can actually connect two 10 inch subwoofers. And then what that will do is take zone one and zone two, put it into the bridged high power mode. 
giving us 580 watts RMS as opposed to 150. And then if you take a look at here, these are two 10 inch subs that we used. And that allows us on this four channel amplifier to get the power rating that would fall right into our recommended wattage for this 10 inch subwoofer. So it makes it simple, it makes it easy. Put the cover over your speaker connect, speaker wire connections, and then single RCA out to your stereo head unit. Make sure that you're connecting only a four ohm subwoofer to the amplifier when you're using the high power bridge adapter. So let's take a look at, so that's our lineup of the Apollo amps. Let's take a look at the Fusion uh, Signature 3 speakers. And we have two subwoofers now, a 10 inch and a 12 inch subwoofer. These have the CRGBW illuminated lighting, LED lighting. We also have 6.5, 7.7s, 8 8.8 wake tower speakers or your traditional speakers, which could come in either the classic or sports grill styles. So we can just get a classic style grill if we wanted to on these speakers, or we can go ahead and get the sports style um, on this lineup of speakers that we have. These are true marine, so they're covered by our three year warranty. So just to like take a look, what's the differentiator in our signature three uh, speakers here? So they're rugged, they're designed to be around the marine environment, the saltwater marine environment. They pass the ISO 12216 pressure and water tightness test. So that's gonna hold up to the roughest conditions at all. Uh, we have that silk dome tweeter. So you're gonna get those really clear highs we have the curved cone material. So that's a rugged cone and that'll allow you for the, the best sound and really hold up to the marine environment. And like we said, with your sports white and chrome, you're gonna get those uh, LED CRG BW lighting. Three year warranty on those, 10 inch subwoofer. So just to let you know, those have been out for about a year now. Um, the 10 inch is a 300 watt. RMS, this is the industry first marine subwoofer that has the CRGBW lighting. So you have that cool white and that warm white. Once you blended it with the other uh, red, green, and blue, you get more of a pastel color when you take a look at your LED lighting. And then the 12 inch subwoofer. If you've ever been to any of our shows lately and we have these on our displays, the the subwoofer just sounds outstanding. You know, it resonates really long. It's got really low bass sounds and 700 watts of RMS. And then obviously it still has the LED CRGBW lighting, industry first for our subwoofers. So let's take a look. You want to make sure that you're pairing these up with your Apollo amps, your Apollo head units or the RA210, and then you're going to download the Fusion Link app. So the Fusion Link app will do a multitude of things. Number one, you can control your stereo through that, but you can also do your DSP setup. So these amplifiers must be used with our Fusion head units that have DSP included into it. And then what you wanna make sure is to download the app, Pair it up with a compatible Fusion Stereo, connect it to the Wi-Fi, and then we can go into the setup for your DSP. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and open up the Fusion Link app. We are connected to our MSRA 770. So that's our color touchscreen Apollo head unit. And we can go from the uh, main screen right here and go into settings. And then we get the music or general option up top here. So let's first take a look here. We wanna go ahead and pick a zone. 
So this process must be done for each zone. And once you start this, even on a four zone system, it would probably take you, you know, maybe a minute and a half to two minutes total in order to do this setup. And then that's gonna unlock the best potential for your amp and the speakers that are connected to it. So we'll go in here and choose music. And then we can go into zone and this is gonna be zone one. We could go back in and name that zone so we know where that's located on the vessel itself. And then we're gonna go down to DSP settings. So after that, we've got a couple different options here. Um, amplifiers, speaker type, and then the speakers from the drop-down list. So in this, we are going to connect we have connected the Apollo external amplifier. So we're gonna select that. And then we're gonna go in and select our speaker type. And at this point, it's gonna have all of our speaker lineups. So you're gonna even see our, our RV series, the SG series, signature series here, XS is in here also. So we're gonna pick and choose that particular speaker. And in this case, it's the 6.5 signature series. And then the next step is gonna be able to select the speaker environment. So we're gonna go in there and select environment. And in this case on the boat that we have, it's gonna be in an open air. So an area with no roof and limited walls. And that just makes sure that we get the best sound out of this speaker and amplifier combination. So next up, we're gonna go in and select our amplifier. And then in this case here, we have the four channel Apollo amp, and we're gonna select that. So we also have some additional customized settings for additional zone options here. So if we had a second pair of speakers connected to this particular zone, we could click on that. So let's say that we did speaker setup like you see here, connected to our amplifier, this would click on. So let's go to the next option then. So let's say that we have a different setup here and we have the zone bridged and that might be for our subwoofer. In this case, we have a 12 inch subwoofer. So it's either or. So we're gonna either have this or this, or finally, let's say that we added the tweeters. So we have separate component tweeters. And the reason why you might wanna add these, let's say that you're on a, an open air center console style boat and your speakers are really low, low on the gunnels or on the side of the console. And maybe you're not able to hear those highs really well. You can feel the bass, but you can't hear the highs really well. And this is where you could add in that zone a separate pair of tweeters up high. You might see it up under like an electronics box or up on the, the console to where you can actually hear those hives a little bit better. And then some additional fine tuning that you're going to see here. So we can go back into zone one. And then we can go into more. And this is where we can customize it. So remember on your Apollo amps, you're not going to have any of those pods to where you pots to where you can go ahead and tune any of the uh, fine tune any of the um, uh, amplifier settings there. But this is, allows us to go in here and control volume limits and sub level and then the balance. And then also we can ex we can uh, control the external amplifier gain right from this setting itself. At this point, we've gone ahead and went through all of our zones. So let's assume that we've gone into zone one, two, three, and four. And at this point, we can go ahead and click on send DSP settings. We see it's sending to our stereo itself. And now the update is complete. So like I said, if we did this for a four zone system here, and once you get really good at this, you know, it's a one time only, you can do this and set it up. It'd take you, 
you know, 90 seconds to maybe two minutes tops. Some of the accessories you can get. So remember, we, we include everything that you need in the box itself, but you can get, um, you know, a power connector. If you happen to lose it somehow, we've got different um, connections for your speaker connections and mounts are available. So let me give you an example that I put together. And like I said, this is only an example. It depends on how you use your boat, what kind of music that you listen to. But in this example, you know, this is a 27 foot center console. They might, you know, uh, go to the sandbar and they, they want a good system, a nice sounding system here. And let's go ahead and give you an example of what we can actually put in here. So basic, you know, center console, 27 foot. And in this example, we're gonna give you two examples here. So example one, they did two seven sevens about midship there. And then two eight eights a little forward there up on that kind of uh, deck area up on the bow. And then a 10 inch subwoofer right underneath the um, area behind the cockpit there. And so you'll get a really good bass sound. And that's the other thing too, is you're gonna get better highs, good bass with the seven sevens, good highs, better bass with the eight eights. And that's why we kind of configured it this way to where we had a little bit more bass up front and then the bass in the back. We also did up in the T-top, we did some 6.5s. So now we have that sound coming down that obviously too is going to give us really good highs with some bass sound there too. We chose the signature three series. So obviously this is our flagship series. This is our top of the line series. You can, if you didn't want the LED lighting, you could do just a classic grill also, no LEDs. If you wanted something that didn't stand out as much, but you could do a chrome grill or you could do the sports white and then um, allow and then connect that to our lighting controller, which I'll talk about a little bit later. So we just talked about what we put in this 27 foot center console here. Um, we, in option number one, we chose to go with a six channel amplifier and we have the seven, seven, six, fives and eight, eights. And you kind of see how we configured that here. We could choose a 770, 670, or the hideaway system. So four zone, and then these two are three zone systems would work really well. And then we could, an option number two, if we wanted more bass out of it, like we saw in that example, we could add a eight channel amplifier. We could bridge zone one, and that could be for our subwoofer. And then we can connect to the rest here. So with our speakers, we're gonna get that 150 watt RMS for six speakers and then 580 watts to our 10 inch subwoofer. A really nice system. And then it really depends on how you wanna set it up. Um, I do have a lot of people, like I said, using the WB670, but by far our number one seller is the RA770. It's just our premium award-winning you know, stereo head unit for, you know, the greatest entertainment that you're going to get on the vessel with a color touchscreen display. I wanted to put this together because this kind of gives you an idea from option one to option two, some of our part numbers. So if you guys wanted to pause this, take a look and see, or take a snapshot with this, this gives you an idea of that particular setup and how we set it up with the head unit and I included the 770 in there. Um, we also have the remote control and I'll talk about that ARX 70 um, a little bit later. And then your options for your amplifiers. We did a 10 inch subwoofer. Uh, we could have added a 12 inch subwoofer. The only problem is that's that was a much bigger subwoofer and this particular vessel just really didn't have the space for it. And we could still get the great sound out with the combination of the uh, coaxial speakers that we did with the 8877s and 65s along with the 10 inch subwoofer. We also went into you know some of our RCA cables here, just your 
AM FM uh, antenna that you would include, you know, your um, cable for your Garmin Marine Network to your Fusion Stereo, the RJ45 cable there. And then we also went into some other accessories that I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, you know, our we have it connected through NEMA 2000 also, and then our speaker cable and the links. So let me also give you another example here. This is a 33 foot center console and give you an idea of what we did on this particular vessel here. So this one here, you know, we did some 8.8s in the aft area there. Overhead, we did the 6.5s. We did two 10-inch subwoofers up front, and then the 7.7s, seven and then all the way at the bow, we did 6.5s. So this, this particular vessel has a lot of sound on it. We chose the Signature 3 Series. We wanted to go with the Premium Series speakers here to match up with our Apollo head units and this particular vessel type. A little bit larger vessel, and they wanted to get a little bit more sound and bass out of it, and that's why we did the two subwoofers. We did go with the RA770. So if you take a look here, we've got our USB and 3.5 millimeter aux input there. So that allows us to, let's say we wanted to put music on a, um, a USB stick, we could plug that in there. We've got that 3.5 millimeter jack, so that can plug into our phone. We also have our network cables out for both uh, Ethernet, our network and our NEMA 2000 to our Garmin Marine head unit. And then in this case, what we did was we went with the eight channel amplifier Apollo. And then we also went with the um, AP12000 amplifier for our subwoofers. So a good simple setup that you're gonna see here uh, to get really great sound out of this system. This gives you kind of a breakdown. So if you wanted to kind of take a look at some of the part numbers that we did here, um, we obviously added the 770 in this premium series lineup here. We got a couple different amplifiers because we're doing two subwoofers on there. We did the 10 inch subwoofers and then you've got your cables, speaker cables and connections down below. So you wanna complete the system. So these parts, once you take a, an Apollo amp stereo, you wanna match it up to the Garmin head unit. And a lot of people, that's where they're starting at. So they're gonna go with our premium series, our flagship series, the Garmin 8600 MFDs. So you can get these in 10, 12, 16, 17, 22 and 24 inch models. All of these models have HDMI input and output and audio cable connection. And that's key to what we're gonna actually be able to do here with this system. So with this, the GPS map series has the HDMI input. So you can watch videos full or split screen using this connection here. Um, you can connect your favorite devices, you know, whatever you want. If you want Apple TV, Roku, Chrome, you know, any of the Amazon Fire Sticks, you can go ahead and connect to your MFD. And then this will allow you to go ahead and support and view that right on your Garmin MFD display. So we take a look at here. Um, you can view protected HDMI content, the HDCP content. So that's that high bandwidth digital content protection. You do have to have your device, let's say it's Apple TV, connected directly to that MFD, and you'll be able to see that content if you're playing a movie over it. You just cannot share that across the marine network. So if you have 
that video on there and connected via ethernet to other displays, you're not gonna be able to see that particular movie across that network. If it's not HDCP content protected, you'll be able to see that whatever type of video that you have play across that network. Make sure that you go ahead and utilize our Garmin HDMI cable because it has this waterproof locking collar on there that'll connect to the back of our MFDs. So you also can control your HDMI audio and you'll wanna make sure that you go in and choose this information under your video menu in your Garmin device and select your source. So in this instance, I had my Roku connected to this and then go into my video setup and then make sure that I turn that on. So this will allow us to go ahead and um, pass through the audio content re received through the HDMI input. And then you'll see what our next step is gonna be in order to connect it for the sound. So right now we're getting the video set up so we can see that video from whatever we're playing, the big game or a movie or television. And then what we can do is we can go into the audio setup. So we'll go into audio settings and then you select settings, system, sound and display and audio setup. So it's simple and easy right from your Garmin MFD. And this turns on audio output for alerts like alarms, shallow water alarms. And it also turns on the audio output for the HDMI video. There are two choices in the cable, depending on what series Garmin 8600. Um, so just take a look here and make sure that you pick and choose the correct uh, cable itself. You're gonna see these uh, are designed for like the 17, 22 and 24 inch displays. And then you'll see these for the 10, 12 and 16. So just make sure you get your correct cable in order to connect your audio and you'll see the RCA connections right there. And don't forget the accessories. So like I said before, probably the number one accessory that we have our installers, our do-it-yourselfers and our, our boat builders is this ARX70 remote. It's nice because number one, you can remotely mount this. It can stick up in any area, it's waterproof. It is wireless. It operates off of that CR2032. It's like the coin uh, watch type battery. It's got up to a three year battery life and you can control up to four audio zones. So you can put this anywhere on the boat. You'll see a lot of times this might be backed by the swim platform. So a great option comes in either white or black and it'll match up with a a multitude of our series from the Apollo series to the um, original 70 series. Um, the new MSRA60 will also match up with this. Uh, the 210, the black box series, and even our, our stereo active. You can also get the ERX400, which is a wired remote control with ethernet. So the nice option with this is you have a one connector ethernet um that connects to your system here and that has a 12 volt power on that also that powers it up it's shallow mount so if you had a larger vessel maybe something bigger than our options here in our 27 and 33 footers that we showed you um you can mount this somewhere else and have complete control and obviously you can see you've got a color display here You've got all your menu set so that can connect up to, for example, your 770 Apollo stereo head unit and make a great companion to that. Don't forget your remote control for your LED lighting. Uh, this one's designed for the CRGBW lighting. Um, this gives us wireless control up to about 30 feet. Um, you can control up to five pairs of speakers or five subwoofers. It, with this single lighting control. And it allows you to run through and um, do different options there. If you wanted to blend the colors and do a cool, a cool white or a warm white. Um, so you've got a multitude of colors you can do with this remote control. 
A lot of people might not know that we have this. So if you're looking at the, um, let, let, let's say you're on a tour boat, or if you just wanted to be able to shout out at that sandbar and you know let people hear you, you can use this handheld microphone. So it's easy plug and play solution. You can make announcements over your onboard audio system. It's a compact design. Once you key that mic, it'll allow you to speak through your speakers on the vessel itself. Just remember it's compatible with the Apollo series, RA-210, RA-70, and Black Box 100. Simple, easy setup. So we won't go into too much of this, but just wanted to let you know that you can go ahead and connect it here. Uh, it's gonna connect through the RCA connect connectors into AUX1. And then once that's in there and you've enabled the system under settings and telemute, it'll allow you to key that mic and speak through your speakers on your vessel. And a great accessory, make sure when you're building your system for yourself, or if you're an installer or boat builder, this is a great uh, accessory. This allows you to utilize the USB for, let's say you wanted to uh, load music on there and play that through your stereo system. You have that option there. Um, it's got the cap on that to keep it protected from the elements itself. And remember to utilize the best of our cables and speaker um, cables. So RCA cables, uh, the differentiator here, and you'll see this a lot when you're putting together a system like this and somebody might wanna save a little bit of money and go with inexpensive RCA cables that they you know, might've found at the discount store, you're gonna compromise your sound out of this system here. So make sure that you're utilizing our Fusion RCA cables they're directional, um, they're shielded. And so what that's gonna result in is cleaner, clearer, enhanced audio signals. Uh, they're gold-plated, they're color-coded to make it easy to connect. And then our multi-strand tin copper cables for your speaker connections. This is new, this is in the last uh, year or so, we came out with this RJ45 cable. So what's nice about this is You've got that smaller RJ45 connection. And a good example would be if you're connection, connecting to our WB670 hideaway system. Uh, this cable is great for that. And then on the MFD side for your Garmin, that'll plug in utilizing the locking waterproof collar there. We do have some new software updates that we came out over the summer of 2021 and let's just kind of go in and talk about those really quick uh we did software updates that are give you speed versus volume uh, volume ratios mono audio and zone cane settings remember these are going to be utilized with the apollo series uh amplifiers or head units and what you'll take a look at is the current software version as of December 2021 of each one of our head units here. And let's take a look at the software release. So number one is speed versus volume. Many people in their personal vehicles already have this. So what we allow you to do is um, allow you to, when you're on your boat, you want that volume up higher when you're at higher speed. So you can actually hear your stereo system. And then when you slow down, you can go ahead and have that volume decrease. So you're not getting blasted out once you're you know, slowing down. You can choose what speed source that you're gonna connect. So you can do either speed over ground, speed through water. You just wanna make sure that you're connected via the NEMA 2000 network, because that's how we're picking up the speed information in order for us to adjust those volumes. And now we're gonna look at the volume ratios. So this is great in a multi-zone multi system. So with this, prior to this update, if you set everything to zero, 
um, all your zones would be set to zero. So we couldn't say that, hey, we wanted zone one to be set at 15, while zone two is set at eight. And the reason for that is when we're controlling all the zones simultaneously, we might not want to be blasted out because zone two might be down into a cabin. And if we had it up on 15, that might be way too loud. So with these ratios, we can go in and customize it. And so once we decrease all the way down to zero and we start over, you're going to see that it's going to start to climb and increase correctly. Whereas before, once we set back to zero, all the zones set back to the same uh, volume ratios, where now we can control them independently per the zone. Mono audio. So why would you use mono audio? And this is a great example here is we can go in for a particular zone and say that we want to select mono audio because maybe the speaker is really close to our uh, ear. So on this here, we're on the starboard side of the vessel. You know, maybe this is where we're controlling the vessel from behind the helm. And we have a speaker here and we have a speaker here. And if we had that to where we had the stereo sound, it would sound really weird because we would get kind of, you know, just we would just hear this and maybe not this side. So what we can do is put it into mono and then we get both, um, both of the sounds coming out of right and left out of just the right speaker. So zone gain settings here. Um, what this allows you to do is adjust the built-in amplifier to the particular zone. Um, and with this, you know you don't have any physical gain controls on your Apollo amplifier here itself. So with this, we can go in and we can set the external amp gain manually within this zone setting. This is the lineup for the software updates that came out summer 2021 and the stereo head units that are compatible with these zone settings. So as always, if you've missed this webinar or if you wanna go ahead and review it, usually within a week or so of the webinar air date, we will put it up on our Garmin YouTube channel so simply go to Garmin YouTube, uh, go into the channel, go to Playlist, Marine, and Webinars, and you can see all of our past webinars are located there. If you wanted kind of a laugh, you can listen to both myself and Dal Thornton. We did a uh, podcast called Behind the Chart Plotter, and we've got 10 episodes up there. If you want to listen to some of the insiders, you've got Marty Ray there. Um, you know, you've got... Uh, uh, Jeff Leach from Sirius XM Marine there, um, Bradley Hallman, uh, Hank Cherry, you know, we've got a uh, former NFL player that we interviewed, so it's kind of fun. Uh, take a listen to that. We want to thank you here from the Garmin Marine team. If you have any questions about this specific webinar, please email us at marine.training at garmin.com. And again, we appreciate you listening and we will see you on the water.